Alright guys, a little intro before the episode here. So, I've, as I said, been a little bit sick recently and also have been having major computer problems. I believe I've fixed both of those things now. And, uh, well, mostly enough to record and edit, at least. So now, this episode was recorded like a month or two or three. It, it was during, it was during, no, it wasn't. It was, it's last, I'm confused. I'm, I'm confusing myself at this point. But I made a mistake during the last episode when I was editing. I forgot to include these achievements as follows. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not super important, but it's just completion and I care about showing things. So that's how you get those achievements, and I guess we're just moving on to this episode. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Friend Bo. So in the last episode, we, uh, well we met Itward. Itward is a very fancy and uh, special individual who may or may not have a flying ship that flies. Who would have ever seen that coming from a flying ship? In this episode, we're gonna play I would've some... thought it skated hmm. everywhere. This music makes me think of forks. Bran, you have a very disturbed mind. Hello, Fran speaking. Huh, nobody answered me. Anyway, I can always talk to myself. Crazy! <laughs> I wonder what this machine does. It does for sure many things or nothing at all. Things move and rotate, that's all I see. A wooden foot, it reminds me of me when I was a tree. But I guess it's used as a model for making shoes. It were shoes are very pretty. I almost said very big. Uh, uh, say about big feet. Um, I mean that soul's probably very durable. But like uh, what happened to the person that you removed it from? Feet. One foot with a shoe and one foot without a shoe. If the Etherstal language again, I wonder what it says. Is that foot flesh on the shoe sole? Hmm. I think I actually have a translation thing, so I could translate these if I wanted to. Future Gabe, if you feel like it, do it! Future Gabe's huh, probably not feather. gonna do it. Future Gabe's lazy. Like the Great Wizard's riddle. Pen of man and the freedom of birds, yes. I think I knew the answer even before reading the riddle. Sure you did. Oh, this looks very complicated. Maybe some other time. I'm not interested in knowing what it is. Well, I love how Mr. Midnight's just in the middle of the room, like chilling out with his eyes closed. I, like, I thought Hitler... he was asleep for a sec. Okay. I think Hitward has style. He has no grace. This Kong has a funny face. He has many things that I do like. All those details makes me wonder. Alright, I wonder won't bother what? talking to him. I know what this is a compass. Hmm, but this one seems to be confused. It's just north and south at the same time. Oh. You're everywhere all at once. Alright, let's go. Hi, Another Mr. Cat. Robot Hi, Knight. Robot Knight. No! Seconds and minutes and hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. I forgot to give myself some love. Okay, yeah. That's I never noticed it before, but that's totally Fran. Her yeah. arms are really creepy. Her arms are eyeballs. Yeah, I know. They're really creepy. I'm gonna take these pink hose, blue hose, ready to use. Okay. Uh, there's a green hose here. A hose! Oh, it's sort of a connector. Hose. Where's the missing part? There One you here. Go. Also, oh, there's an achievement like you can get hose. in this room. You already got it, but... Okay. Uh, You're gonna have to edit it in. Edit it in, in. Is it in the light world? It's in both. Okay, then I'll be in the light world, because I much prefer this world. Yeah, it's much nicer. Okay. The other world's uh, creepy as fuck. How do you get the achievement? Go to the workbench. Okay. Take out your crayon. Oh, yeah. Okay, so before we do this, I need to read something. Because I don't want to cheat. It's uh, above it. So, up here. No, this is the water tank mm -hmm. one. Yeah, this one over here. He's lying to me. 
Okay, Sorry. reality view is this. Ultra reality view is on fire. Chemical mixture. AFM, aka the fireberries. That means that the only thing that we're missing on this list is AFM, which are fireberries. Which means, which let's just, have, uh... because we're fucking bombing. I think I do have the AFM. It's the fireberries. Oh, done. That gives you an achievement. Okay. I edited it in. Good for me. <laughs> so, let's let's do some chemistry. Uh, I will in a moment. I want to look at this first. Okay, green goes here, blue and red go here. Well, the AFM orange. goes into 818. Okay. And then R15 goes into A18 and 2PF. Green. Yeah, okay. We should put the fireberries, you know, in them. In the thing. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm looking at how this goes. The fireberries, they aren't on fire, it's the vase. Really? <laughs> okay. I didn't do anything. I didn't set them on fire. Stop looking at me like that. Okay. This one goes here. This one right here goes here. This one took me a while last time because I was missing one of the hoses. All right. Uh, this one goes down here, I think. And that means this one is the last one going right here. I think this is right. Yes, it is. And so go now back let's... out to the thingy. Why? To look at what the what chemicals we have to put in the bottles. Okay. Uh, A18, 2PF, PF and R15. Okay, and um, you remember these two, I'll remember these two. That fair? I'll remember the last two? Yeah. Okay. A18 and 2 Okay, um, what? What? That's not, that's not why I did, but all right. No, uh, N166. Yeah, that one's N166, and the other one's R15, which is right next to it. Cool. Turn the Bunsen burner on. I think you can now, because you changed the one thing. No. <sighs> what are you doing? We don't, we, we finished, Gabe. What are you doing? I think I made a mistake. Okay, I guess they're just the exact same color? Why? That's not... What? Whatever. Um... I think it's done. Super Chemistry Master Frambo. And everything's fantastic and amazing. Woo, we did it. You have to send the water tank on that, though. Oh, no. Not water! I know, it's so gross. <gasps> Okay, before we even do this, I'm gonna go back there and look at it, so I know exactly how to do it. Okay, this has to be sideways. This has to be flipped to the right. Uh, these have to be plugged in. Your the fire has, has to be lit, and then water. This has to be down. Cass, don't be so weird. <laughs> I love how I add literally nothing to this. Yeah, Just here for the shits and giggles. This goes in here. Um duct tape to fix this and finally last but not least everything's done I'm amazing oh look at us we're so great oh hey it worked friend I found a mission to fix the automatic driver do you need help I think I managed it myself quite well too I did all you've asked me very well friend everything seems to be working perfectly yes everything's looking absolutely great what should we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you're afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit in one of the rooms, and I'm, uh, I'm deeply afraid of it. Would you like to get help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit, or one with horns and killer eyes? You'll have to see for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. It's just sitting there, no blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. It does sound very scary, sir, but show it to me, otherwise I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. <laughs> Follow me now. Alright. 
It looked, I don't know if that was just me, but it looked like it were just shuffled very awkwardly out of the room. Like, you know, the running man challenge. It looked like you running manned out the door. Okay. I, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to that. There, see, it's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? No. Maybe the rabbit's scared and that's why it won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare to touch it. All right, sir. I'll take the rabbit and show you there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, sure. Hi, little rabbit. What's up, slut? See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, friend. There's nothing to be afraid of. What? Don't go, Mr. Midnight. This is not funny. Um... Mr. Midnight, say something! Please don't take my kitty away from me again! Well, that's fucked up. That's well, I guess I, I I would assume there's a puzzle in this room that we can solve to get out. Hmm, tasty carrots. Hey rabbit, you want to eat? Hunts not working makes things not working makes me angry. Fran smash! <laughs> Also, she, it's now wearing a tutu and has a wig. That's cute. Also, the Let's big... feed it. The mechanical rabbits got blue boots on. The carrot for the big, big robot bunny. I got rabbit. another achievement for you, friend. Uh, hush. You gotta edit oh, it done. in. So much editing achievements in. Yep. So what's another the one for the it? robot bunny. Look. What's that number? Matter. Is it three? Right Five. Five to the right. Shunk. Okay, I think it's three was the number. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna pretend that's right. It is. Throw another rabbit in its mouth. Another rabbit. Ugh, that's weird. Uh, another carrot for the big bad rabbit, and I get an achievement! This totally isn't edited in from the last time. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so this is... As you can see, okay. there's papers around the room, and each of them have a number on So this one's two... Which and means five. five is the second digit. Yeah. This Here. one's one. I'm gonna write this down. One is eight to the right. To two is five to the right. Okay, wait. Um, what? What was number one? Eight to the right. Eight. Number, the second one was five. To the right. The right? The third is eight to the left. Okay. Fourth is six to the right. Okay. And fifth is nine to the left. Also, each time you enter and exit the dark world, this rabbit's wearing a new outfit. Hey, it's us! My outfit. Us again. Uh, is that Elmo? What is that? I have no idea. It's cute, though. I hate the sounds this makes when you enter and leave. Oh, whatever. These bulbs don't know whether they stay on, turned on or off. Me, though. I think this is a wrench. It can be quite useful. Okay, now let's use this wrench. Get to wrenching. You have to actually do this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I forgot about that. I was like, what the heck is going on with this thing? Okay, twist, twi twist. There we go. You did it. Oh, it opened. And it's missing its battery, so we'll never be able to do it because there are no batteries in this room. At, At all. all. Let's twist this. I won't turn on. What should I do? No, it was the, um... Give me a minute. A little bit confusing because once in, we haven't played in a little bit. But, uh... Press this. this oh, yeah, up. it's the button on it. The button above the shaft. Oh my. There we go. Good times. What's up? 
Then you go in here. You take out this battery. It's so lovely and amazing. There you go. Battery placed in. Yes, it works. Full power. And what if this you actually... just what? What if there was just a dead battery? That'd be hilarious. Like fuck. <laughs> Shit. I can't do anything. Yeah, to fight. Yeah, he had to find some way to charge it, or it was just completely dead. And you're stuck. Because I don't think that'd be very fair. Okay. And now we stand over here, press the button. Goodbye! Carry on my wayward friend. Oh there my god, it's Pen. Peter you Pan. Are dead. Oh. What? What? Hmm? What? Are you? Oh, hey, it's your mom and your dad. Oh, hey, it's uh, your mom and your dad now in the style of chopped up ham. Yeah. Mommy, Daddy, who did this to you? Why are you here? Please tell me. Why don't you fry him up, Fran, and eat him? They look pretty good. Shut up. Fried ham. Okay. Uh, it was... It was five, five eight was to the, the first right. One. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, eight two, to the left. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six to uh, the right. Six to the right. Six. And then it's nine, nine to, to the, the left. left. Yeah. Uh. Oh. Six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I did that last time. Don't know where the mistake happened at. It's not locked, don't like me, friend. And we're there. Now, I showed off that power button for a reason. Turn the light. <gasps> Surprise, friend! Happy birthday! Oh, what birthday party? Oh, I thought you wanted to kill Mr. Midnight. You lied to me. I was excited. I hate that cat. We lied to you in order to keep your attention in another direction. I'm very sorry I had to fool you, my friend. We wanted to surprise you, my dear Fran. Come and eat cake. Alright, thank you, kitty. You really surprised me. Thank you, Itward, sir. The cake is made of all the ingredients you like. Mr. Midnight told me which ones. And we have something very special for you from all members of the ship. This means all of us naturally born or handmade beings. Here you go. I hope you find it educational. Is it a cat? I think it's a cat. Wow, I love the wrapping. Can I open it now, please? Yes, go ahead and open it. I think it's an iPhone. It's Take personal. your eye out. can't be done. Hmm, even if it works, I wouldn't know for what purpose. Fine. To burn it, Fran. What other purpose? Arsony. Wow, a cat doll. Aw, thank you so much. I love it. It's beautiful. It may give you eyes and new perception, you know? Like the ultra reality. Is, is that what happens when I take the red pill, sir? Is the ultra reality what I see? Well, it depends. Would you like some explanations? No, what fuck. do you say if you say no? I've never I, seen no. anybody. Do I'm that. not doing it. I'm not doing it. I know, it. but like I'm just curious. Curiosity yes, please. damned. Well, look, you what you've seen is a mixture of different realities. And the ultra reality is like an invisible room where everything exists at the same time. For example, at the second at the exact coordinate of time and space, we're having a birthday party. But in the ultra reality, other things are happening all the time. Slower, faster, or just invisible to the human eye. <laughs> it's because of time humans can define past, present, and future. Defining things uh, encapsulates reality. It gives humans a chance to understand their environment. And you have a different perception of the environment. It's not linked to definitions. Do you understand what I say? I'm not sure, sir. I think maybe. I feel a bit dizzy because I'm stupid. <laughs> Ten. Okay, eleven now. I think. That may be the ship going up and down. Blow on the candles now, dear. We're about to reach our destination. You mean we're about to get home? Did you hear that, Kitty? Yes, we're about to arrive. Really? Wow, how exciting! All right, here I go. I wish everything would fuck up. Whoa. 
damn, bitch, it looks like your wish was granted. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dear, what's happening? Mr. Midnight, are you all right? I'm all right, but I hope the ship won't break. It sounds dangerous. Fran, you have to help. I, ha I have to drive the machine again. The automatic drive was destroyed by the Kamalas. There's one left alive. You have to get rid of it. Find it fast. I I mean, I could drive. I know I'm 11 and all, but uh, th 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 I, mean, I could drive. How do I do that, sir? Water. That cleans the dirt. Hurry up now. Remember, it may be hiding from your eyes. Oh my goodness, Kitty, I'm scared. Me too, my Fran. We have to find the Kamala. I really hope the water destroys it. Let's go. Okay, I'm... I don't remember, so I'm heading to this room first. In here? Ah, found ya! I... Found ya, you filthy thing! It wouldn't work if I had water... Okay. Uh, need to get some water. Need to open this to get this dumb and stupid... That's not it. Oh. Um... We didn't show it off this episode, like, this time, but, uh... Where else can you oh, get water? Oh, right, yeah. There you are. You bad thing. You're destroying our ship. It would said you were dirty and I have to clean you up with water. Hmm, but where to get water? Okay. I can we don't... Can just not look at Edward in, in other reality? He's horrifying. Hi, Mia. Oh, Hi, Clark. right. I completely forgot that. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Um, how do you do it again? This with this? I won't even try that. Nah, I'm stupid. This isn't it, right? Oh yeah, it is. You just do this. Or I could. I thought. Oh my God, Gabe, stop doing that! Oh my I God. I asked you if it was right. Take your you bucket. Said... Fucking fill it up. God damn. This makes no sense, though. How? How did she even do that? That's, I call I call. She caught the water in the bucket. That's how. I call Malarkey. You cannot do that. Trust me, I've tried. Okay, now that we got water, wait. If he had that water, why did? No. There we go. I'm amazing. And rather than kill me. Why did he need us to get him water at first? Yeah. He was lazy and didn't want to. Uh, get the don't water from where are you going? Wait. Please stop. Please. <laughs> I had to stop. Just leave. I love Edward, but his other world version is fucking horrifying. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. Pull crunk. The crunk. Oh wait, right. I do this one. Ah, what about her? See? This Kamala's dying, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Right there. Maybe if you didn't stand right where the water pours, you'd be fine. I think I finally got rid of the Kamala. I'm the best. I should go back to Itward. Turn your I'm the best. Off, Around. Back to normal world, please. Thank you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Cut figured. Cutscene override spells. Yeah, I know. It worked, sir. We did it. The Kamala's gone. It's gone, yes, but it's too late, dear. I can't take you home. We're going down. We're going no, down. Please, down. don't tell me this. Na, 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 na. It's not fair. Not fair. I'll always take care of you, my dear. This scene is like my favorite scene in the whole game because it's so sad and it's so heartwarming at the same time. Like, it shows you just how much Edward cares about Fran. <laughs> Such a good fucking Fran. Such a good fucking Fran. And the ship was going down until it crashed. Everything was destroyed. The end. And everybody died! Woo! But that's a very sad ending, Edward. Tell me another story, please. Alright, this is the story of Fran, Bo, and me. When she promised never to forget me or about the magic. This of line, this line is funny because I think it were actually 
hung out with you when you were younger and <laughs> I promised it word. I'll you promised to never you. forget and when you meet him he's like you don't remember me? Damn Good. bitch. Now you it's broke time your damn sleep. promise. Expect me in your dreams, my friend. Especially your wet dreams. Chapter 4, Part 2. Doctor's Prescription. His prescription is more sex. You really need to calm down, Cass. <laughs> Never. Oh, hello, dear. Hit word? Oh. oh, kitty, we're alive. We survived the crash. Oh, dear, yes, we are alive. But Itward's gone. But he brought us home. We are outside the town, Fran. I can smell it. Are you sure, Kitty? Are we already home? I thought you'd be happier about it. What is it? It's just that I wonder where Itward is. I wish I could say goodbye. Maybe you can take the medicine to see him again. Yes, Kitty, but I took all the pills already. You see? The bottle's empty. Damn, anyway, let's junkie. go home. Maybe Itward will come to me someday. Please let me actually finish the thing I'm saying before you. You know. I can't though, cause like, wow, it's a Mr. in Midnight. the moment thing. Do you see the moon? It's huge. Yes, I see it. Our home is in that direction too. Looks too big. I think the moon is about to crash into the earth. You're all about a to red, drown. A red bicycle. Is this Itward's? I don't know. Anyway, it's broken, so I can't ride it. I need Itward to fix it. He has the t um, water tools, but he's gone. Anything else to interact with here? No? Nothing at all. Fine. Get to moving, bitch. Oh, I like this music. It's so good. Oh my goodness, this is our street, kitty. Hey, street. Yes, it is. Why is there just a brick wall at the end of that road? That happens. It just looks so abrupt, though. Um, maybe there's plans for more road and they didn't have the funds to do it, so they just built a brick wall to end that there. Looks like it. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing to interact with here. And here we are! This looks much more gray than I remembered. Looks blue to me. Well, I hope Aunt Grace would be happy to see me. Oh, hey, it's potted plants. Oh, I'm so sorry, old one sex. Don't run away. Oh. oh I'm so sorry, old one sex. Don't run away, oh. Ah, no key. What is this, a note? I took the key, Fran. It says I took this key signed Fran. Fran, that's me! But I haven't taken the key, and I didn't write that note. This is all so confusing. What should I do now? Hmm, that's really confusing, actually. I didn't remember that. Aunt Grace, Hello? Maybe she's not at home, dear. Do you have the key to go inside? No, I don't have it, kitty. One but of I the know most confusing things somewhere. about this this 11 year old girl is the size of this door. <laughs> How big is this house? Not what? big at all. I know, that's the point. Like, why is it so fucking small? I just need to remember where. <gasps> Let's find it. I wonder where it is. I actually interacted with that early. Yeah. Um. Oh, there's the window to my room. The curtains are waving like a flag. Then my house is like a castle, like a Thirstus castle. Come here, kitty. You must climb and go through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key, but now you don't have it? That sounds very strange. Yes, it's very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now in order to get inside, Kitty, you must climb and open the door for me. Ah, uh, alright then. Wish me luck. You can do it, Kitty. Be careful. Can I voice the next thing that shows up? That, that's fine. I don't mind. Mr. Midnight, do you hear me? Kitty, open the door. Come on, cat. Cats. Fran? I can't believe this! You're alive! Where were you? 
Dr. Dearn, I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time now. How did you escape? I escaped through the yellow door, sir. Hmm, but why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have the key, but Mr. Midnight is inside now. He climbed and went through the window on the second floor, sir. Mr. Midnight? Isn't that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? I came to meet Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not at home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me, then. No, I won't leave my kitty again. Let's wait until he opens the door. Fran, I don't believe your cat is inside the house. That's impossible. It's impossible for you to own a cat. That's impassable. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. That makes no sense. How would he know the cat was dead? Because the cat was missing for a little bit? For a he couple months? He just assumes it's dead because it was missing. That, that's stupid and he's a dick. I'd bite him. I mean, that's just me. He puts his hand on me, I'm gonna bite his finger off. Oh, hello! Kamala's blow kisses. He's seen things. He's seen some shit. Jesus. I'm sorry, Fran. I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Well, maybe if you'd wait a little bit or help me up to the window so I could go in, unlock the door, and then we could actually look inside. But no, you're taking me away like a weird stalker freak. Chubb! Chubb, Lester! Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I found things that I do not understand yet. Man, I wish you used conjunctions more. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Dear Gladia, let the newspaper know that about Fran Bo. She was found in the woods frozen death. She ran away from home after finding out about her parents' murders. Beloved, Fran Bo, 1712-1934-22, yeah, okay. So she was 10... Well, according to this, but we're obviously just turned 11. Friend is now free from all pain. We hope you reunite with your family in heaven. Uh, family murder on Hayes Street. Their bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were uh, found early this morning, early this week, brutally murdered in the residence on Hayes Street. The investigation of police officer Marco Holma said it seems that the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous death. Also, there were no signs of a struggle in the house. The victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Fran Bo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. She froze to death. And th is that supposed to be us? Uh, that's supposed to be the parents. Okay. Well, they summoned Satan, and Satan's been haunting me ever since. But I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see, I see that. that. I also okay. found out your medicine was switched. Bitch trying to read my lines. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked at it in the laboratory... I feel weird saying laboratory, not laboratory. In the laboratory, the levels of ectoplamatin were too high. That can't be good. Ectoplamatin creates a door between the subconscious and the conscience. The problem is if the ectoplamatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And that can create a great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel into other worlds. Ultra, rea ultra reality? That must be the consequences of duty, nothing more. That's not true. If I had some sort of more, if I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say? Then I may be able to control it. I mean, that you were imagining things. That's all. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. Oh. 
I do want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh, did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? Wh what? Who told you that? You did, or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, that's all true. Oh, please, let's focus. I love how he's not even questioning how this little girl just found out that his dad abused him and cut him yeah. up with a knife. Like, no, nah, you're not listening to me, sir. I know that. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses? Oswald, who knows? I do not know, sir, but it's the big black... I do know, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he hunts me. He wants me dead. I wish I could stay in Atherista with Poantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to Itward or Poantris. My kitty's all alone. Poantris? Itward? Please, Fran. Kaz, move away from your mic. I'm holding it in my hand. So like... Poantris is the doctor of Atherista. He's a flying creature, very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Benai. I saw mother and father, too. The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claimed to see a creature named Edward or something. Edward? I think you're misunderstanding, sir. It's Edward. But what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reaction of the DNA, but nothing happened. Yeah, because that's not scientifically... Oh, whatever. A few months later, they died and their bodies were thrown into a well. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for all this disgrace. 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 Ah, yeah. <laughs> thing. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Pontius is right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. 